Are you looking for an actually good flight simulator on Roblox? Well, you came to the right place. In this video, we will be going over the best Roblox flight simulator in the entirety of the Roblox game. So we will be going over the best flight simulator and it's better than PTFS and it has so many cool features to it. If you like flight simulator videos and Roblox videos in general, and if you want some good content, just hit that subscribe button. With that said, let's get right on into the video. First, let's go over the functionalities and features of the game that make it stand out from all the rest of the flight simulators. So, my number one reason has got to be the most realistic plane designs I've ever seen. Like, they're accurately designed to fit reality, and they also include gear, different gear tilts depending on the different type of plane it is. So, if it's Airbus, it's going to have a different gear tilt to Boeing. Since the game is only new, there isn't a large aircraft selection. Now, the plane's handling is very, very realistic. All planes in the game follow a very Microsoft Flight Simulator feel. Same goes for the UI for the game, very Microsoft Flight Simulator feeling downside of having such a good handling is that it's hard to fly the plane sometimes and mobile players can't currently play um however the description of the game states mobile support will come at a later date airports are also very realistic too in my opinion the airports are too far away from each other making the game feel repetitive and the only airports that are close to each other are london gatwick and southampton this is a downside for my case as the game starts to get repetitive and loses its fun. You can actually also control the weather with the GUI menu up here as, as you can see in the video right now. Using the weather setting you can actually customise the weather and some settings you can customise include the rain intensity, snow intensity and you can even change the cloud cover to maximise realism. This is such a cool feature and I wish many flight simulators had this too. You can also fail certain sections of the engine or like aircraft using the GUI as well. For example, if you're doing a crash landing roleplay, as I said, you can fail the engines and fire will actually start coming out of the engines. At the current moment, you cannot actually undo any fails without like resetting your avatar and resetting the plane. You actually have to wait for the engines to power on. So this could be a downside for a lot of people like you know you have to wait and just wait for it to power up which is kind of annoying but in my case i actually really enjoy it now at the current moment we don't have pushback trucks in the game or ground crew in general but they will be coming really really soon and that is just what's going to be really cool and it will also be coming alongside a long anticipated career and story mode which i anticipate is going to be a really really good mode but i can't really say any anything about it now as it hasn't been released at this moment the air traffic control tower is also really realistic but you need 60 robots to purchase access this is actually better than ptfs however though as the atc game pass and ptfs is 65 robux and i'd say it's not as realistic they're also really good with the extra details like it gives you landing feedback on how good it was and much more than that i also really enjoy the different cam camera angles like you could have a window seat view on the wing and like that's just so cool you know like that's just a great story aspect to the game now let's go over the things i don't like about this game so controls are very hard to use in the game and take a while to get used to um, so these controls are really different to PTFS and are much worse, um, in my opinion, if you're a bad pilot like me. Um, it's also another really annoying thing is paid access, because currently Project Flight is 50 Robux, which, while it isn't that much compared to similar flight simulators at release, it still means that the game has a major barrier to new players. Bruh. Also, mobile access is still not in the game, which adds more of a barrier as 79% of Roblox users are mobile users as of 2019. Now, this is the absolute most annoying thing about Project Flight. You actually have to pay Bruh. Robux for any planes that are actually good, such as the Boeing 787 and 8330. However, you do get planes like the 737 uh, for free and some smaller, like 8320 planes, but 
you just don't get the effect of those really big cool planes. A380s aren't in the game yet, as the aircraft selection's not that large. These planes aren't actually that cheap either. They cost like 90 to 95 Robux, which is really annoying for poor players like me. ATC also has paid access. Um, while the air traffic controller tower costs 60 Robux, it is still way cheaper than if you were to play PTFS, which is at the current moment 65 Robux as an ATC. Glitches are also pretty frequent. <laughs> You'll have to expect frequent glitches as it is only an early access and that's what you agree to in the early access and many features are still yet to come but the game is still fun as it is. The range of aircraft is also not as large as I'd want it to be however there is a real there's still a pretty decent amount of aircraft in the game. Um, however the range of liveries is so much more than PTFS. The liveries as I've explained earlier are really realistic and there's so many of them and there's just everything you can get really now crash landing role players are quite difficult as 90 percent of the map is decorated but it will not let you land there like on just grass if you're having a crash landing role play um you'll actually phase through the ground and die ptfs actually lets you land on water and as the plane eventually sinks but you can't do that in project flight as you just die instantly Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video and I'm sorry that it took so long to upload. I know, uh, my upload schedule is uh, kind of bad, but you know, we're getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, yeah, if your name is Flies and YT, come collect your giveaway. Alright, have a nice day.